What's up everybody, this is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing another Brutal Age video. This is a four star partner series. This is on Red, Double Blade Girl. Let's start off right away with the Third Awaken function. That's probably the most important part of having the Double Blade Girl. You collect her, keep as many of as her as possible to use it in the, in the Third Awaken function. She's a four star partner uh, in the Third Awaken function. So you see here, uh, to Third Awaken, Rudolph, Red Rudolph, it'll take two Green double blade girls only have one. Need more. Uh, green. Really? Takes two blue double blade girls. So he's ready. I can actually upgrade him right now. And where's blue? Takes two red. Got two reds too. You want to have at least two. If you have six of them, that's not too many. Uh, we keep as many double blade girls as many fierce beasts and as many marksmen as you possibly can it's really important to do that it's mo much more important to do that than to use your double blade girls to upgrade your other uh, double blade girls and give them more of the skills maxed out skills on one double blade is not nearly as important as third awakening all the four stars we're gonna show you we're gonna go through the skills right now if I can find one I don't think I have one in this account so first skill is a triple slash. All three do the triple slash. It's just attacking with the bone blade three times. The next skill is called sleeping dagger. That's attacking an enemy with a flying dagger. If you put him to sleep, then you'll get another attack. And you might actually be able to do two of your big attacks at once. We'll see right here. So we'll, we'll do the, the sleeping dagger. We'll do it on the girl up here. She went to sleep. Now I have a choice of what I want to do. And what I'll do is I'll use her big attack. Her big attack is called the Bloody Penta Slash. Attacks an enemy five times in a row. Recovers hit points by 50% of the damage dealt to the enemy. Uh, each attack has a 50% chance to inflict wound on the enemy for two rounds. Now being that this is a lower level, I'll, I'll probably end up killing her. But we get the five, five strikes. It, it did get injury on her, got wound on her, got everything on her. So that's a pretty big attack because I've already put her to sleep, the top girl, so she's not awake yet. And now I have a chance to attack her with the, the triple slash. She, I take her out and she's still not awake. Now I have a, another chance to attack her. I can actually do the sleeping dagger on her again. Ho ho. And the big attack on her again. That's how you utilize all of the attacks. Her leader skill is attack 40% so all brave or all red partners if you have an all red team all the partners will enjoy 40% bonus on attack if she's the leader. Her legion skill is for beast masters if she lives through the partner battle which if you don't know already um, when you do a player versus player attack your army attacks their army but you'll have don't forget to add your partners to the, to the match your partners will attack their partners first the surviving partners will then boost the rest of her team or the other or debuff the other team uh, in her case she uh, does a 40% morale debuff on the other team if she survives the partner match we'll go to war patterns and we'll see what everyone else is using on her you call that by clicking on inventory and click on this little button up here and if there's nothing up here that means that people are not using that partner in the ranked matches so most people use her in the attack, basically just the all-out attack formation, which is Smiled On, uh, Wolf is uh, the critical rate, and Hippo is health. Some people use the, the critical rate and critical... What I have done is I have used Saya and Corsac. Corsac is resistance. Saya is... She does the, has a knockout capability. I think it's 50% every time she, she hits someone. And because she has a three-strike attack... And then she also has a five strike attack. And then her, her, her other attack is the sleep plus another attack, which is going to be either the three, stri three strike or five strike. So you're pretty much going to hit, hit someone three or five times every single time you attack. Uh, and that means that gives Saya a 15% chance to put them, put them out, KO them every single time that, that she attacks. So it's a good idea. I know that no one else is really using them, but this is a really good idea, good time to use Saya. So let's spend the last few minutes of uh, the video going over some easy tips. First, prioritize her in the third awakening function. That's going to be her biggest benefit for you in the game. If you're going to use her in combat, try the Saya war pattern. Make sure you have left hand speed, right hand, and helmet 
attack percentage. Uh, use her leader skill. She's got a good leader skill of 40% attack for red partners. Um, don't worry about her health uh, as far as her war patterns. Use a shielder or a reviver or a healer with her to do that instead. And don't forget about the artifacts. If you're going to use her, use the artifact. The brutal Horn is okay. Try to get it to 2 star, 15, level 15. And work on attack percentage on the bottom three war patterns. Try to get at least 10% attack percentage on each of the bottom three war patterns. That's gonna that's gonna mean you're gonna probably have to get a blue or better to start off with with attack percentage already down there. That way you get a couple of extra uh, upgrades on it. It'll take a little luck too because uh, just because you have attack percentage to start with doesn't mean they pick that one to upgrade. So good partner. Probably replace her with a better 5 star once you get into that part of the game. But uh, great partner to start off with. You'll, you'll enjoy using her. So appreciate everyone for watching. Sub to the channel. Until next time, it's been easy.